Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be another TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I know I have been filming a ton of these videos recently, but you guys seem to really like them, so I'm going to keep filming them, but they might start slowing down a little bit because I think I went a little bit too crazy recently, but anyways, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Check out my TJ Maxx and Marshalls shop with me, and haul playlists they will be linked in the description box below so yeah let's go ahead and get started okay so to start things off i have a couple of crystals so here we have this one i have no idea what it is or what it's called but it's really pretty so i bought it <laughs> and it was $16.99 and this was actually from home goods so um yeah $16.99 from home goods i think it's really really cute this one's actually kind of like polished on the sides a little bit which I don't have any other ones that are like that, but you know, it's fine. I think that it'll, I feel like the brown, like kind of like neutral color will like bring together some of the other crystals that I have. And then the other one that I bought, it was also actually from Home Goods. This one was $14.99 and it came on this like wooden like thing, but I just like tried to take it off and it came right off. I don't like this wooden thing, so I just want the actual crystal, but this is like a purple amethyst and it's so beautiful and stunning and can't wait to put that somewhere in my room. Okay, um, I have a couple of amazing, like huge purchases that I forgot to talk about, or not that I forgot to talk about, but I just forgot I was going to talk about them. So first I picked up this wallet. This is from Patricia Nash. This was $29.99 from Marshalls. This is what it looks like. It's got this super cute little emblem here. It's got a little coin purse on the back. And then you open it up and you've got all of these card slots and like money slots and stuff. So it's a nice, full wallet but it like closes up to be like so small and little and this retails for $99 that's what the Pat Patricia Nash tag says so $30 is a really good deal so I got this and then to go along with this I just ha I actually saw this item first this is my new baby this is my new Patricia Nash backpack this I got for $119.99, but it retails for $249, and it matches the wallet. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Oh, it's so cute. I literally am so unbelievably excited about this. If you saw in my Tampa shop with me at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, um, my mom actually got a Patricia Nash leather backpack. But then I found this one and now she's jealous of this one, but hers is still really, really cute. But I freaking love this thing so much. And it was a lot of money, but I feel like that is a piece that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. And then I picked up one other item from Patricia Nash and this is the biggest item. So I picked this up and <laughs> I literally feel so guilty for spending this much money. But um, I bought this for 100 <laughs> and $49 but it retails for $299 so it was a good deal 50% off essentially and this is a Patricia Nash duffel bag it's literally like it's very large it's very large and it's very nice and it's got a nice long strap this is something that will last literally forever so it's an investment for sure, but I feel like I feel like it was a good investment, at least for me, because I don't have any luggage or anything, so I feel like spending money on something that I know will last a long time and I won't have to replace was like worth the spend. So yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's get on to the cheaper stuff. That was all really, really good deals. Um, if you, you know, look for that kind of thing, those are all really, really good deals. But anyway, let's get on to some of the stuff that, you know, is not over a hundred dollars. So, <laughs> okay. First I picked up, not first, but next I picked up this thing. It's this acrylic thing. I actually got this from Home Goods. This is by Hotel Balfour, I think is how you say that. This was $14.99 and I'm pretty sure this is for like Q-tips and cotton balls. It's like an acrylic organizer with a divider in the middle, but I bought this, I'm not gonna use the lid, but I bought this to 
put on this makeup desk right here to put some of my like everyday makeup brushes in so that's what I bought that for okay now on to the beauty stuff so this <laughs> I went to a TJ Maxx that I don't normally go to this is like pretty far away from my house that's why I don't normally go there I don't think it's technically in the city that I live but um so I went there and I saw this and it was on clearance and it was the yellow tag clearance so you know that means it's like really low price like that means it's been re-clearanced so it's been clearanced if it's red and then if there's a yellow tag over it then it's been clearanced again so this is the <laughs> healthy sexy hair soy moisture conditioner and this is literally so massive this is a gallon of conditioner and it was clearanced to ten dollars so yeah i used to use this stuff in high school and i loved it and then it disappeared this whole line i used to use the detangler the shampoo and the conditioner but like i don't know why i just like forgot about it and then i've been seeing the products at tj maxx and marshall's recently so i thought i would pick this up not that i needed more shampoo or conditioner but you know I'll, I'll use it eventually and it was such a good deal i couldn't pass it up then i picked up this product from sugar baby this is the glow co nut glow co nut glow co nut luxe body cream and this is like just like a moisturizer basically they have a line of self tanning products they have a self tanning like everyday moisturizer they have just like a regular moisturizer that's not self tanning they have an aloe product they have a shimmer glow body gel stuff but i decided to pick this up because the packaging is cute first of all this was 6.99 from marshall's second of all it smells incredible oh my gosh it literally smells like frosting in those tubs the like whatever brand that is you know what i'm talking about like the funfetti frosting that's what this smells like so i had to buy that because it smelled so good and the packaging was cute the packaging is what drew me in but um yeah anyways moving on i also picked up this from beauty concepts my mom actually pointed this out and she was like hey look at this this is the dragon powder energizing grapefruit scent sparkling bath powder infused with vitamin c now if you know me or you watch my videos you will probably know that i don't like the smell of grapefruit but this was just too cute to pass up. This was $3.99 and it's like this pink powder that you put in the bathtub and those little specks that you see are actually pieces of glitter, which I thought was so adorable. Hopefully you can like see, hopefully that's picking up on camera, but I needed to buy that because it was so cute and my mom is just, she's an enabler, so you know you know okay moving on i picked up some skincare products actually no i'm gonna move on to these first these are perfumes that i picked up from pacifica these are shoot i dropped something in every single video okay sorry these are all from marshall's they were $8.99 each so two of these are micro batch perfumes and then this one's just like a regular perfume i'm not sure what micro batch perfume means if you do know what that means please let me know in the comments below but i have these are from pacifica they are vegan and cruelty free the packaging on these is like so adorable and they had three different sets oh my gosh okay everything's fine <laughs> they had three different scents so i picked up all three scents we've got I don't even know how you say this but we've got this one and the only weird thing that i found about these is that they don't come with a cap which i'm not sure if that's like on purpose or not but they don't come with a cap but this is what the bottle looks like and it's is it a fluid ounce yeah it's one fluid ounce so then i have sparkling star passion fruit which is this one and then the last one that i have is mediterranean fig so yeah those are some perfumes that i picked up now i have some skincare products so first i picked up this from bare minerals and i thought this sounded really cool so this was 7.99 and it's says mix exfoliate smooth add to cleanser skin polishing grains so this is what the packaging itself looks like and i haven't even opened this up yet um but it's just like 
this like powder in this bottle and I guess there's like exfoliating beads in there and you can add it to any cleanser to make it an exfoliating product and I love exfoliators as we all know so I thought that was a fun thing to try out and it was only $7.99 and it was bare mineral so I thought why not then I picked up some products from the Cram shop these are the turmeric face masks these this is like the five piece for $4.99 these were from Marshalls and I didn't, I didn't need these, but I bought them anyway, so that'll be a fun thing to try. I have tried turmeric sheet masks, but, but not from the crumb shop before. And then the other product that I picked up from the crumb shop, this is so cute. This, these are the clear the way, uh, like cleansing towelettes that I get all the time from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. These were $3.99 from TJ Maxx, and these are the witch hazel ones. But look, there's little witch hats on them. I have not ever seen these before, so I thought this was so freaking cute, and I had to buy them, and I love these. I know I'll use them, and I have never tried the witch hazel ones, so I think, um, and I have acne prone skin, and I know that witch hazel is like good, and I've never actually tried anything with witch hazel before, so maybe that's the secret ingredient that's gonna help me. Okay, I picked up some brushes, and then I picked up a couple of makeup items, so I picked up more of these brush crush brushes from Real Techniques. So we've got the 300 powder and the 301 foundation brush. These are so cute and I recently saw these I think in Ulta it was. So yeah, um, it's kind of annoying though because the foundation one was $5.99 and then the powder one was $7.99 and it was like a tag that like they made so obviously the tag came off but and they like had to make another tag so uh, it was $7.99, it's not a $5.99, but it's fine. It's still a good deal. So I got those two, and then I also got the Diamond Sponge, and this is from the Brush Crush Collection. So normally this is like white and gray, but this one is pink and purple, so that was really cool. And I haven't ever tried this one before. I've tried the pink, like the normal pink, the weird rounded pink Real Technique sponge, and I've tried the Miracle Complexion Sponge. I don't like the pink one, but I love the Miracle Complexion Sponge. It is hot in here. Woo! We got any Coke Zero fans out there? Okay. Um, the last couple of items I got are all makeup related. So, first I picked up these Salon Perfect eyelashes. These are the shade 6, not the shade 610, the style 610. And you get five pairs of lashes, and these were actually on clearance for $4.50, so that was a good deal. They're normally $5.99 at TJ Maxx, so it's like $1.50 off, basically. Then I picked up two products that I actually used today for the first time in my very first ever full face to first impression, so go check that video out if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, I picked up this MAC eyebrow pencil. This is the Brow Sculpt Brow Pencil, and it was $7.99 from Marshalls, and I, spoiler alert, I freaking loved this. Um, this is what the product looks like. You've got the product on one side, it's like the triangle shaped kind, and then you've got a spoolie on the other, and this was my first time using a brow product like that and I love it. And then the other one that I picked up is the Makeup Revolution Cover and Conceal Palette. And this was $3.99 from Marshalls and I liked this. I didn't, it wasn't like love at first like use. I only used these two shades right here. This is in the shade light by the way, so you get eight different shades. But I only used two of them. It wasn't love at first sight, but it was definitely like I like you I'm definitely gonna try this again and yeah so that was $3.99 super good deal and then the last product that I got is from Bobbi Brown and this was $29.99 so this was so really expensive but I looked it up before I bought it and it retails for like 56 so this was almost 50% off and I love Bobbi Brown my mom loves Bobbi Brown too that's like her favorite makeup brand ever is Bobbi Brown like it's her favorite, so um, she likes a lot. She also really likes Fenty and Too Faced, but she loves Bobbi Brown. Anyways, I don't know if you guys really care about that or not, but this is the Brightening Finishing Powder, and it's in the shade Bronze Glow. So it comes in this little sleeve, which I think is so fancy, and then this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a silver reflective packaging, and 
this is what it looks like my mom got like the pinky one um and then i picked up the bronze one so this is what it looks like it's literally so beautiful you can use use this as eyeshadow as like a powder complexion product as bronzer as highlight it's literally so versatile and it was 30 dollars, which is a lot of money but i think it's gonna be worth it so that is everything that i picked up from tj maxx and marshalls and home goods this go around i hope you all enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and yeah i love you all so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next one bye